All right, let's be honest with each other for a second. With all of the things that we have at our fingertips and all of the different forms of entertainment available, it's become super easy to allow ourselves to be, well, lazy. We watch Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, and of course, YouTube. Thank you for that, by the way. And when we're not watching one of those, there's video games to play, every song that's ever been made ready to play into our wireless headphones, and we can have food delivered from any restaurant whenever we get hungry. Life is so easy for us, we literally never need to stand up. Well, that's great when it comes to wanting to stimulate our brains, but it's definitely not that great for our health. That's a conversation for another day, but what about our fish tanks? We all know fish tanks require work, and we also know that work is a bad word these days. Why would we want to work when there's so many other things we could be doing that we could do all day long and never even get out of bed? Well, if that sounds like you, but you still want to keep a fish tank, this is going to be the video for you because this is our list of the top 10 fish for lazy fish keepers. Now let me start this off by saying we are not encouraging people to be lazy and we certainly don't condone it, but if you want to have an aquarium full of fish that are easy to keep and very low maintenance, this is going to be the list for you. And we're going to start it off with mollies and platies. Mollies and platies are definitely not the same fish, but they're very similar and we figured putting them together and calling this a top 10 list sounded much better than here are the top 11 fish for lazy fish keepers. Mollies and platies are both live bearers, which means they give birth to live free swimming fish rather than laying eggs that eventually hatch. This is really cool because they do this constantly and don't require a ton of extra work to do it. This video is all about doing the least amount of work possible, so there you go. Not only can you be a lazy fish keeper, but you can also be a lazy fish breeder. These fish don't require a huge tank, but bigger tanks are easier to take care of. So if you want to be a lazy fish keeper, you might want to put these in a bigger tank. Plus when they do breed and they will breed and you've got 20 extra fish, you're not going to be scrambling trying to figure out where to put them. You've got space for them. Plus one of the great things about these fish is they're available in tons of different colors and patterns. So you can have a very active, very colorful tank with a bunch of fish that are constantly reproducing super easy to care for. I could make the argument that these could make the perfect tank. These fish can be kept in a pretty wide range of water parameters, temperature 75 to 80, pH 7.2 to 8, and they'll be fine. And like I said, if you want the best case scenario, put these fish in a 55 or 75 gallon tank. That way you've got room for the family to, to, to expand and grow. And you can just kick back in your recliner stick your hand down into your waistline, Al Bundy style, and just embrace your laziness. Did you just say put your hands down your pants? No, I was saying sit like Al Bundy does. With your hands down your pants. But he doesn't, th just move on. Okay, so let's keep this family friendly, okay? Thank you. Danias are the closest thing in this hobby to a bulletproof fish. These fish can tolerate a wide range of water parameters and can do really well if you're being lazy and fall behind on your maintenance. Of course, we don't want you to be lazy with your fish, but if you are, then this is the perfect fish to do it with. Danios come in several different varieties from the smaller zebras to the larger giant Danios, and all of them will be some of the most active fish you've ever seen. If you're into fish that are all over the place like little maniacs, you're going to want to look into these. Trust me, they're some of the most entertaining fish you've ever seen. When it comes to tank size, it's going to vary. If you're keeping celestial pearl danios that stay super tiny, you can easily put them in a five gallon. But if you want the giant danios, you'll want to have them in at least a 55. 
But most Danios can be kept in any size tank between those two, like 10s, 20s, and 29s, and can be in anything from 7 to 8 pH and 70 to 80 degrees. Like I said, these fish aren't picky. Just put them in water. Are there any fish in this hobby prettier than angelfish? I'm serious, I, I don't really, I don't think there are. Think about it, you can have one of the prettiest fish in the entire hobby and be lazy at the same time. It's perfect. It's kind of like me. I'm married to one of the prettiest women in the world and I'm super lazy. I don't think it can even be argued that angels are some of the prettiest fish out there. I mean, look at their unique arrowhead shape with all the dangly things hanging down and tall dorsal fins. I mean, these things don't look like anything else in the hobby. And it's not just their looks that make them so popular. One of the reasons why you'll see them in almost every pet store in the world is that they're super easy to keep and easy to breed. Okay, maybe they won't be easy for a lazy man to breed, but if you're at least average in your maintenance skills and keep their water clean, there's a good chance you can get these gorgeous fish to breed. Believe me when I tell you, there is not much cuter out there than baby angels. This is the first fish on the list that I'm definitely going to recommend a larger aquarium for, at least 29 gallons. But again, let's try to put them in something like a 55. Yes, because 55 gallons are easier to take care of. But also, this is a taller fish, so it's just the, the best thing for them. Angels are easy to keep, they're pretty easy to breed, and you don't need a monster-sized aquarium to keep them. But there's one thing to be aware of. If you decide to keep them and they do pair off, and you want to breed them, you might be in for a whole new challenge. These fish can be the exact opposite of their name. They can be downright nasty when they want to breed. Angels are cichlids that lay eggs on vertical surfaces in the aquarium. When the pair decides to get it on and lay their eggs, they'll defend those eggs to the death. And it's not just while they have eggs either. Once those eggs hatch and they're free swimming fry, they will fiercely protect the fry too. And here's the real issue. If you get a pair that's really going for it and spawning like crazy, they can have a batch of eggs they're protecting. Those eggs hatch and they start protecting the fry and then two weeks later they spawn again. Now the parents have eggs and fry to protect. You can have a real mess at that point. But the real message here is these are a show-stopping fish. They are absolutely gorgeous and they are super easy to keep. We're gonna say it over and over and over again. We are not encouraging you to be lazy, but if you are a lazy fish keeper, these will be a good choice, unless they start breeding. So when you sit back and think, I'm really lazy, but I really want fish. Is there such thing as a small, beautiful fish that's super active and doesn't require me to do much? Yes, it's white cloud minnows. White clouds are everything I just asked about. They're gorgeous little fish that are constantly darting around all over the place. And while we would never suggest you not do any work, if you're that kind of person, these would be the perfect fish for you. White clouds are also really popular fish for people that like to keep outdoor tubs in the summer. With these fish being smaller, pretty easy to breed, and tolerant of a range of water parameters, they're perfect for this kind of thing. Outdoor tubs and ponds usually have fluctuations in temperature, and white clouds can thrive in cooler water, as well as water that warms up a bit. Plus, have I told you they're gorgeous? When people talk about really pretty smaller fish, you always hear about guppies and tetras like cardinals and embers. No one ever brings up white clouds. In my opinion, these fish stand up to all of those fish. And to add that they're the easiest fish to keep, well, it's a no-brainer. I can't think of a better example of a great fish for a lazy fish keeper. If you've followed this channel for any length of time, you know that Lisa and I speak regularly about how mistreated goldfish are. So believe me when I tell you, I'm not trying to tell you goldfish don't need to be taken care of and abused. But it's true, they're super easy to keep. It's sad, but goldfish are looked at by tons of people around the world as second-rate fish that are best used as food for other fish. 
Now, I'm not gonna make this all about politics and how abused they are. I'm just saying that they aren't looked at the same as cichlids, catfish, and guppies. It's sad, but it's true. Except in Asia, they treat these fish right. They treat them as good, if not better, than any other fish. But since this video is about easy fish to keep that lazy fish keepers won't have any problems with, it has to be said that goldfish definitely fit into this category. Like many others on this list, they can be kept in a wide range of water parameters. They appreciate cooler water, so they're great for lazy pond keepers that don't live in a tropical climate, and they're also a fascinating and beautiful fish to keep. The biggest issue with goldfish, though, is most people don't keep them in tanks nearly big enough for them. When we talk about keeping fish in larger tanks, most people assume it's because they get big and they need more space to move around. This is certainly true, but it goes much deeper than that. Look at it like this. Let's say there's two goldfish tanks. The first one is 20 gallons with two goldfish in it, and the second is 100 gallons also with two in it. Something you might not know is goldfish are massive waste producers. They're constantly eating and constantly pooping. Well, how long is it gonna take for that 20 gallon to foul up compared to the 100 gallon? Well, it's simple math. It's gonna get completely nasty five times faster. I know it sounds gross, but this is the best analogy I can think of for this situation. Let's say you're in an elevator with only one other person, and that person farts. That's a pretty terrible situation to deal with, isn't it? But now imagine the same scenario, except you're in a gymnasium. You can just walk away. It's not nearly as bad. So the point of the dude's story is goldfish are great for lazy fish keepers. They are very easy to keep, but let's do the right thing. Let's keep them in clean water because they are constantly producing waste. Let's give them a big enough tank so that they're not in that elevator with that nasty person we talked about earlier. So put them in something 55 or larger. Let's just do the right thing. Because again, like I've said over and over and over, bigger tanks are easier to take care of anyway. So let's just keep life simple. This one breaks my heart because I just want everybody that keeps betas to just spoil them. But I guess they are one of the easier fish to keep for lazy fish keepers. If you know me at all, you know that I live for betas. I am completely obsessed with them and I take care of hundreds of them that we sell on our website. So the last thing I wanna do is promote people not doing everything they can possibly do to spoil them. But it's true. Betas are pretty simple fish to keep and can be perfect for people that aren't able to do a ton of maintenance, whether it's because they're busy or lazy. Just please do me a favor. If you're gonna keep a beta and you're gonna be lazy, at least set the tank up properly, please. It's common for people to keep betas in small containers with not many decorations and no filtration or water movement. Yes, they can survive this way, but please, let's not do this. Get a small air pump and hook it up to this little filter. It only costs a few dollars and it'll help to keep things moving and keep things clean. Also, get them a small heater. Don't forget the heater. Just get the heater. Yes, betas can breathe air, so water movement isn't critical, but if you're unable to do maintenance, that stagnant water is gonna get really nasty, really quick. So adding that small filter or one like it will make a huge difference. Also, plants. Live plants not only give your betas something to swim through and explore, but they also help to keep the nitrates low. So if you set the tank up properly and give your beta enough room, you can get away with being a little lazy, but still, please try to keep this water clean. Take care of my betas. If you wanna get one of those adorable filters, or if you're interested in getting one of my betas, I'll put a link in the description below. But you have to take care of the betas. So maybe you're someone that doesn't want cute little betas or derpy goldfish or pretty little white clouds. Maybe you want something with a little bit more attitude, something a little bit tougher. Well, why not try convicts? Convict cichlids are a super cool little cichlid that don't require a huge tank and they'll be great to give you that macho factor in your tank. 
They're super low maintenance and can thrive in pretty much any situation. You do need to be careful though, because when I said they have an attitude, I was not kidding. The reason they're called convicts is because of those very defined black bars that look like the bars of a jail cell. At least that's where I think they got their name. We talked about that in a video a couple of weeks ago, but the truth is there's another reason why they're called convicts. And that's because these fish are little jerks. If you decide you're gonna keep these fish, you might wanna just put a group of them alone in your lazy tank. If you start mixing a bunch of other smaller fish, it's very possible the convicts will gang up on them and make their lives absolutely miserable. Again, there's a reason why they call them convicts. But overall, this is a really cool, very easy to keep cichlid that will thrive in a wide range of water parameters and they'll even breed in those water parameters. So if you're looking for something with that attitude, you don't wanna breed some frilly live bearer, this might be the answer. But if you don't wanna breed them, you should only buy one. Because if you put a group of them together, breeding is gonna happen. Just trust me. There's nothing in the world that John hates more than spiders. He believes that the only spider that's good is a dead spider. For me, it's snakes. Ugh. But if you're someone that loves snakes and would love to have something in your aquarium that's super easy to keep and also looks like a little underwater snake, you might want to look into coolie loaches. These little snake-like things are easy to keep and they're interesting to watch. They're also perfect little tank cleaners because it ain't like you're gonna be doing it. I have an interesting story about coolie loaches that's also kind of sad. These little fish love to hide, especially if you only have one. They'll not only hide behind or under decorations, but they've been known to burrow under the substrate. Well, we had one in a 75 gallon aquarium a long time ago that did that. He went down into the substrate and we never saw him. Honestly, we thought he got eaten. Well, John took that tank down when we were preparing to move and it sat in our basement for about a month with no water in it, just the substrate. Thankfully, the sand was still wet because when he went to scoop the substrate out to move it, guess what he found? Yep, that coolie loach was hiding in that sand the whole time. He was still alive after a month. If that's not a hardy fish, I don't know what is. Yep, Oscar's made it on another one of our lists. I am going to make it my mission to include Oscars in every list video we do. Top 10 prettiest fish, Oscars. Top five water puppies, Oscars. Top 10 fish that every fish keeper should have at least once in their life. Oscars. Top five fish that are usually neglected, but they're super sweet and I love talking about them because Lisa can't stand them. Oscars. In all seriousness, there's not a fish on this list that's easier to keep from a care and maintenance standpoint than Oscars. They are as close to bulletproof as you'll ever find in the hobby as long as you keep their water reasonably clean, you keep them well fed, and give them enough room. Oscars are susceptible to hole in the head disease, which is usually caused by poor water conditions. So keeping these fish in a smaller aquarium is not even an option. I'm gonna tell you one Oscar in at least 75 gallons with really good filtration. I mean, do you remember the segment about goldfish with the farts? Yeah, that applies to this fish too. No, I mean, it pretty much applies to all fish, not just Oscars and goldfish. There is no better friend to a lazy fish keeper than snails. If you can keep water in your tank, then you can keep snails. But there is one thing you need to be cautious over. You gotta make sure your tank has a good lid on it. They'll crawl right out. The great thing about snails is they're not picky about their water at all, and they can thrive in a pretty widespread range of temperatures, and the good thing is they'll reproduce like crazy. Well, that's good for some people, but others would say it's a huge nuisance. 
But if you have an aquarium, you're lazy, and you want help keeping it clean, snails will be one of your best allies. They're constantly scavenging all over the place looking for algae, leftover food, and even fish waste to munch on. So when you think about it, if they reproduce for you, they'll be providing you with an army of little fish tank cleaners. So yeah, you might look at them as a nuisance, but if they're reproducing for you, then they're providing you with a brigade of little fish tank cleaners, and it's perfect for the lazy fish keeper. So there you go. There is our list of the top 10 fish for lazy fish keepers. Now listen, folks, I want to say again, we are not encouraging people to be lazy. All we're saying is if you're somebody that's very busy or you have a very tight schedule and you still want to keep aquariums, the fish on this list are going to be a great choice. We've done a lot of videos about easy to keep fish. In fact, here is our top 10 list of the best beginner fish, and this is our top 10 list of the best fish tank cleaners. They can help you do the work in the tank. And that's actually our most watched video. So definitely check it out. Anyway, this was a whole lot of fun to do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.